Hey folks, uh, this is Advent of Code day number 15. Uh, we are now almost uh, more than more than halfway done, uh, almost two thirds of the way done with Advent of Code. And I am excited to see where we go for the last uh, couple of days of Advent of Code. Um, this has definitely been a, you know, 2020 has been a year outside of coding for many of us. Um, so, I, I guess I'm starting to appreciate kind of that Advent of Code has not been like a hours and hours per night uh, time commitment this year, uh, whereas last year was definitely a little bit on the kind of more time intensive side. Uh, but we'll see what the next couple of days have in store for us. So uh, let's go ahead and flip over and have a look at our Advent calendar and also have a look at um, have a look at our uh, at our desktop here. So. Go ahead and make a uh, day 15 input file, and we'll get this stuff set up and ready to go. Uh, we have about two minutes until the puzzle unlocks, so yeah, um, you know, grab a glass of water. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do this stuff together. All right. So, last year was definitely very, very int code heavy, um, and I think what happened with that was that, you know, with every puzzle using int code last year, uh, people felt like if they didn't, you know, if they didn't write a working int code compiler, that half of the puzzles were inaccessible to them. So I imagine that's kind of why we haven't seen the same libraries used over and over and over again this year. Um, yeah. All right, um, I've got my day 15 file ready to go. Um, I'm ready to receive the input. And uh, let's refresh our memory of where we were here. Oh, right, um, the one thing that I realized I did wrong yesterday, the errata from yesterday is just that um, where we had 36 bits earlier, um, I needed a zero to tell it to prefix, uh, to prefix missing leading zeros, um, but that's now fixed. Um, so that's the one change they had to make. All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves ready to uh, tackle this next this next challenge. <laughs> All right, what have we here? Let's go ahead and reset that window. And we'll be in good shape. Feeling a little bit less tired than previous days. I uh, unfortunately I had to sleep a lot this morning. Um, didn't get much work done today, but that's all right. We all have off days. Um, and the good news is I am now you know as awake as I can possibly be at 9 p.m., uh, which is you know a little bit more awake than I, than I am normally at 9 p.m. because I took a midday nap. All right, um, so we're on a ferry, so presumably something will happen to us while we're on the ferry getting back uh, over here. So we'll see what exactly that is that uh, happens on the ferry uh, that befalls us that requires coding skills to fix. And the puzzle is unlocked. Let's have a look. Uh, we catch the airport shuttle. We try to book a new flight. Uh, all the flights are taken. Um, the elves want to explain a memory game puzzle to us. Okay. Um, ah, great. First time the number has been spoken, um, the number, then the player says zero because it hasn't been spoken before. Otherwise it's how many turns apart. Okay. Yep. Uh, what will be the 2020th number spoken? Fair enough. Um, all right. Just paste that in right there. Um, so let's see. Um, Go ahead and split my input. All 
All right, so let's just make sure that this is correct. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, uh, eight thirteen one zero eighteen nine. That's good. All right. Um. So. going to do it this way, so we're going to iterate for 20 turns. Let me just pull this up on my screen so that uh, those of you who are looking at this don't wind up with the watermark colliding it. Um, okay, if i is less than length of We're just going to write this really quickly. Um, simple enough. Then just going to do the uh, going uh, method that is to read OK out of the map if I've seen it before. Um, actually, I could initialize this up here, but I think this makes it a lot of cleaner and easier to read, so I'm going to handle it this way. Um, <clears throat> of let's see it's the previous number spoken um, so we need to define a previous number um, let's see how do we do this um, okay maybe I'm a little bit more tired than I thought um, of val equals i. That I know always has to be the case. Let's record where we last saw it. Um, and, oh, I see. That makes sense. Okay. Um, So if it was spoken again, uh, we announce how many turns apart the number is from when it was previously spoken. So that means that this previous update needs to happen. We need to do this on a delay, which is a little bit more annoying. Um, Number spoken to zero, it's going to be four, which is a previous term number minus one. Okay. Um, uh, so 
if it was seen before, then the current value becomes I minus one minus pause. Otherwise, del is going to be zero. Okay, uh, let's do the starting case real fast. do it. So we run this uh, 20, 20 times, and then we get the 20, 20th number spoken. Um, okay. Uh, oops, I need my um, debug. So we're just going to swipe this. Uh, 436, which is correct. Great. So let's go ahead and pass 755, which is correct. Rank 309. I feel like I took forever to look at this. Um, turn the That feels like that ran fast enough that I wouldn't mind running it a, a large number of times. So we'll just do that real fast. Um, all right. So we'll just paste that in here. Don't think that this requires fancy um, That's going to run for a little while, but it eventually returns. So let's go ahead and print this. And that's correct, rank 118. I don't understand. This doesn't feel like this should have been that simple, uh, but yet it really was. And I don't understand what the trick was supposed to be to make this to make this harder, because this really feels like this should have been a harder problem. But OK, I, I, will, I will take it. I, I will take whatever I can get. Um, Wonderful. So I didn't even need to use my debug output. I'm feeling pretty happy with this. So um, let's go ahead and uh, send the streaming love to whoever is still working, um, which is probably a lot of people because I ranked 118. Um, uh, there's probably some neat numerical trick with it repeating patterns, um, but like, yeah, this this feels like this this was just straightforward and didn't really even require optimization. Brute forcing it worked fine. Uh, let's have a look at um, let's have a look at this. Oh, yeah, right. Like this is a test of do you use map types, right? Like this feels like this would have been appropriate like on earlier days, like day day seven, day eight. Um, this kind of feels a little bit on the easier side, but that's fine. Uh, okay. So we found a flight around the storm. We're landing on a completely different island, which we didn't see before. Um, and the next puzzle unlock is 23 hours and 48 minutes away. 
Uh, by the way, you can find my code at uh, github.com slash lizthegray slash admin of code if you're interested in poking around with my solution. Um, although that should have been pretty simple to follow along with. Cool. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, raid someone. Um, so let's try uh, raiding. Let's raid where is X. Um, cool. Uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, remember, like, subscribe, uh, comment, etc. And I will see you all tomorrow.